Subtracting fun. Fractions with unlike denominators. Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting English lesson, where we're learning about numbers and counting. Today's special topic is subtraction and fractions, and specifically, we're diving into subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. This may sound a bit tricky, but don't worry, we're going to break it down step by step. So let's get started. First, let's take a moment to revisit what fractions are. A fraction represents a part of a whole. It has two parts, the numerator, which is the top number indicating parts we have, and the denominator, the bottom number that tells us how many parts the whole is divided into. When we say, unlike denominators, we're talking about fractions where the denominators, or the bottom numbers, are different. For example, one half and two thirds have unlike denominators. In order to subtract fractions with unlike denominators, we need to first make the denominators the same. This is called finding a common denominator. The common denominator is the least common multiple of the two denominators. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Let's simplify it in the next section. Finding a common denominator is like finding a common language so that two fractions can communicate and interact. Here is how we do it. 1. List the multiples of each denominator. For example, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, and so forth. 2. Find the smallest multiple that is common to both lists. In our example, the smallest common multiple is 6. So, 6 is our common denominator. Now that we have our common denominator, let's transform our fractions. 1. Change each fraction to an equivalent fraction with the common denominator. We do this by multiplying the top and bottom of each fraction by the number that turns the old denominator into the new one. For example, to turn one half into a fraction with six as the denominator, we multiply top and bottom by three, getting three sixths. Two, do the same for the other fraction. In our case, to change two thirds into a fraction with six as the denominator, we multiply top and bottom by two, getting four sixths. So now, instead of subtracting one half from two thirds, we're subtracting three sixths from four sixths. Now, we're ready for the final step, subtraction. One, subtract the numerators of the fractions. The numerators are the top numbers. So, four from four sixths minus three from 3 sixths equals 1. 2. Place the result over the common denominator. In our case, that's 6. So, 4 sixths to 3 sixths equals 1 sixth. Congratulations! You've just learned how to subtract fractions with unlike denominators. That's all for today's lesson. Keep practicing what you've learned, and soon it will be second nature. Thank you.